I knew this TikTok was going to ruffle some feathers, and this is a conversation I definitely want to have uh, because there's a lot of dissension out there. There's a lot of people that disagree with me, but I'm telling you, everyone that finances movies and sells movies and sets these up independently, which is the hardest way to set up a movie, uh, we're here to tell you your movie needs to be in a genre. So all these people uh, that Vincent mentions, with the exception of uh, Mendez, I think, Mendez was a theater director and then did American Beauty. Uh, but Aronofsky, Ben Zeitlin, Sean Baker, uh, I'm, I'd have to look up Iraqi. But uh, I'm here to tell you that those guys all won festivals and popped off. They had these super unique movies. I mean, Beasts of the Southern Wild, incredible. Uh, you know, everything Aronofsky's ever done. You know, my partner did a movie with Aronofsky. Uh, so, you know, it's not like these filmmakers are unknown to me, but these guys are very much the exception to the rule. They're the guys that went to Sundance and won, okay? They're the guys that went to the festival. They they had the moonshot film, and the film won the festival. My question is, what happened to every other movie at that festival? And why did those movies not get distribution? Because most movies that go to film festivals, even big film festivals like Sundance, do not end up getting distribution, or they get subpar deals that do not get their investors out. And what does that do? It sets those filmmakers up for a very, very difficult future. And many of them, it forces out of the business because most people can only get the money together for one movie, right? And that festival swing, like that is their, that is their shot. That is their swing, right? And when they can't pay back their investor, um, they don't know where else to go to get money, right? Uh, so just please, please trust me. You can't hold up the exception and say, these guys disprove the rule. They're, they are the exceptions. Uh, their paths are very, very difficult to replicate. And the only reason people are out there trying to replicate it is because the overnight success of Ben Zeitlin, of Sean Baker, you know, is something that is highly visible. And my question is, what happens when you don't end up being that one in two million filmmaker that wins Sundance?